Hey guys, my name is Deepak and today I'm going to be covering two new features of Zoom, Zoom Mail and Zoom Calendar Client. So for example, if you're using Gmail to manage your emails and Google Calendar to manage your calendar, now you can bring these two right within your Zoom client and you can send emails, you can view your Google Calendar and you can do a bunch of other stuff. So let's jump right into the demo. Before we jump into the demo, let's see some of the prerequisites that we have to do. So first is we have to make sure our Zoom desktop client, both on Windows and Mac is 5.12.8 or higher. If you have lower client, then you will not be able to use it. And this is applicable for both Zoom mail and Zoom calendar feature. And the second thing is you need to have a Zoom account, of course, and then you need to have admin privileges to connect that account to your external mail or calendar client. So the other thing to note is the basic and pro accounts in Zoom comes with these features enabled by default. But for business and enterprise accounts, the Zoom and calendar clients are not default on they are default disabled. So you may have to reach out to your enterprise administrator accounts and let them know that you need these features to be enabled. So let's see how it works. All right, so here I am. As you can see, I'm logged in with my Gmail account to my Zoom client. And this is a basic subscription that I'm running right now. I already have mail and calendar tab enabled by default. Let me go to my email and I click on get started. I get two options. Either I can sign in with my Google account or either I can sign in my Microsoft account. Or I can also create my Zoom email. But because I'm not a paid user, so I'll just leave it for now. So I'll just click on sign in with Google account because that's what I have. I'll choose Google and then I'll sign in with my email address. And then I'll have to give permissions to my account for Google email. I'll just say mail read and write to and then I'll leave drive out for now and then click next. And then I'll click my account and I'll give access to see and edit my calendar information, my email settings and my, yeah, read and compose and send emails and then continue. And then that's it. I have to open my Zoom client and here I am. I so once I connect my email address, this is the view I will see inside my Zoom client and I can compose a new email. So for example, I'll just send an email to my other account and I'll write hi and then test message and then click send. Although it's a little bit slow, I've noticed it's not as quick as, so the message was sent. And then now if I, if I go back to my Gmail account again, I see the message has arrived. All right, so this is how it works. And because I already gave permissions for my calendar, my calendar is also appearing from my Google calendar. So I can create a new event. Let's say I've created a new account and then I will invite my other email ID. Um, and let's say I create this event for now and then I can just save it. This event is appearing in my calendar inside my Zoom client. I can hide this pane by going into top right to see it as a full version. And then if I go back, uh, if I switch to my Google account and check my calendar, I'll see that meeting that I just created via Zoom client is listed here. So now I'm going to show you how to connect your Microsoft account. So just go to the mail and then click sign in with Microsoft. 
and it'll open up the web browser, the pop-up again. So instead of Google, you need to select Office 365. So you do have another option of Exchange, but I guess there are some other requirements for connecting to on-prem Exchange. So I'll just select Office 365 and then click Next. And then again, it asks for read and write permission. So I'll just click write and authorize it. And then I'll have to log into my Office 365 account over here. Um, and type in my password. And then allow access to all these things, full access to your calendar, read, write, your email and all that. So if you're not comfortable, you can obviously like leave it and do not use the client. But because I'm just doing the demo, so I'll just click on accept. And then it gives the pop up to open the zoom. So I'll open up the zoom. Okay, all right. So this is my Microsoft account now and I can uh, just use the toggle view or I can just view the complete view and I can also go to email preferences and see my account details and set my signature and few other settings and if I go to calendar tab it automatically pulls my uh, Microsoft calendar which is cool so right inside your zoom you can use both Google as well as Microsoft accounts with this as you can see uh, not only you can do chat, phone, and meetings inside Zoom Client, you can now bring in your email and calendar as well, which gives you much, much more flexibility of just using one client and not having to refer to the other ones. So we'll see how the adoption goes for this these two features. But for now, I hope you like this video. We'll see you in the next video. Ciao.